Hey guys, welcome to the third Android development tutorial from me. We've just installed the SDK and we've installed Eclipse. And I have Eclipse running, and as you can see, I have a different um, welcome screen. It's because I'm using a different flavor of Eclipse, but pretty much it's, this, it's the same state where we left. There's nothing really fancy or new about this. So think of this as just having the SDK and the was it the a Android development tools? When you install the Android development tools, right away you get two more options in the Windows. So if we choose Android SDK Manager, it's something that we've previously seen that we ran from the command line. So let's stop this. The other one that we can run is the Virtual Device Manager. The virtual device manager works as such. I basically create a device. Say I call it low end. And the device I'm planning to use is something very low. Um, quality VGA 240 by 320, 2.7 inches of low density pixelization. And I think we want level 2 will be sufficient. 1024. Okay, and um, let's add another 100. So we'll say 300. And the size we can say, I don't know, 8. And here's a cool thing you could have done up here or here. Gigabytes, we can change the units. We say OK, and when I hit OK, it's going to take some time. So I'm going to pause and I will be right back. Now that's a pretty weird experience because it takes so much time to create this little entry right here, yet there's no user input or feed other than it looks like you're hanging. But anyway, I think if we start up, it may take up some time too. So let's see what happens when we start. Oh, it's pretty reasonable. When I see the GUI, and there it is. Okay, so that's pretty much the emulator. And it's going to take us to whatever the the home page is of the of this device. Well, that's sort of running and getting to where it's supposed to be. Let's refresh. I think I should close it. So, why don't I close you? Goodbye. And goodbye. Let's do something new like the Android. Whoops the something new like the Android application project. If you don't see that listed there, you can come over here and you can expand the Android folder and you see the Android application project there. I'm going to call this project, I don't know, hello Android. Okay, sounds reasonable. It's going to take the 2.2 my website, have you ever been there? It's Ray Andrade. That happens to be who I am. Dot com. Um, let's say everything else is default. 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 And finish. That should work out pretty good. Let's close down this. There it is. Um, we'll go over the file structure, but let's just run it because we're sort of new. We want to sort of see at least something running. So we'll come over here to, can I do the run as? No. How about if I do the run configurations? I come over here to Hello Android. And over here in the target, I'm going to target the low end. Let me sort of squeeze this in here. I'm going to target the low end. And I'm going to apply and run. So the low end device opens up and I should get something like a lock pad or whatever but if I go past that I will see the hello world and then you'll scratch your head and ask yourself well, hey where did that message come from but I'm just rambling right now trying to stall time oh interesting look down here you see the console you sort of see what's happening uploading Landroid ADB 
80k starting the activity on the screen so you can sort of see real time what is happening here and there it is hello world so third tutorial took us three times to get to hello world well hello world we'll begin working on activity page next